All right, just got done taking the throttle valve out of my truck using the Sinister Diesel Delete Kit. Love it. That Sinister Diesel's been good to me. Uh, I really want to do the air horn now after seeing what it looks like. I'll try and see if I can get a photo attached to the video, but what we took out was this. It was sitting right where that was. It was sitting down in there like that, right? That's the air intake. And uh, I took it out because I heard I've got issues with the truck. Sounds like the exhaust brake's coming on. I'm not sure if this is it, but it was a real easy try and inexpensive. But I heard that the valve can close. It's spring-loaded, and it's driven by a motor in here, but it's spring-loaded. It's supposed to stay open. But if I really give it, force it shut, you can see it's sticking shut. And yeah, that could cause some real issues. Plus, it's filthy. A little air restrictive, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference in airflow. So that's why I did it, because I read that this right here could be happening, because it gets gummed up. Now, it should be getting enough pressure to open back up, but it's getting pressure on both sides, you know. And it was only occasionally sticking open. Yeah, so hopefully that solves the issue. I'll try and post some pictures of the inside of this air horn. My next step is going to be to take the map sensor out and clean it. That's what senses your air boost, your uh, turbo boost. And it's got soot caked all over it from this stinking EGR and what the government's been doing. So. It's really simple to do. You just got four bolts. The factory 5 16 bolts go in through here into right there. Then there's one clamp on your hose. And that's a 7 16 So really easy to do. Hope it fixes it.